morning everybody i am um i just pulled into work i just dropped ella off we had like a little filming project this morning <clears throat> excuse me but i'm actually i've been working on something i came here yesterday night to work on something and we used to sell a lot of whoopie pies but for some reason like our provider hasn't given us anything for like months and i've had a lot of customers asking for whoopie pies so i've gotten permission to try to like make homemade ones so i did the first one yesterday and the brownie part like the cake part came out really good i want to cook it like maybe two minutes less so it's not like so crunchy it's a little bit softer but the filling was a little challenging it was very like runny so i made some more filling i put it in the fridge last night so it's been chilling all night um and we're gonna do a little bit of testing today obviously i don't want to be like vlogging at work but i will show like little clips of like me maybe putting it together or something and we'll try it at the end of our shift but i am gonna head in there because i gotta get going oh my bag <laughs> We found that with this first batch the pies were not as flat as I wanted and the filling was far too runny. I spend the next week or so perfecting the recipe. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I am just getting out of work now. Um, it's a little before 2.30. Um, I forgot to film... <laughs> the process of me making the, the second batch of whoopie pies but I at least started filming like when they the pies completely cooled I take the whoopie pies out and flipping them over they look good I cooked them for um I cooked them for a couple minutes less so they were a little bit softer which was nice um and then I ended up taking out the filling that I had in the fridge overnight and putting those on the pies. The problem is, I was, I'm was i running into the same issue where the filling is too runny. But I made a new filling and I put it in the fridge and this one has a little bit more fluff. So I'm hoping that that will help make the filling a little bit thicker um, and be able to hold its shape a little bit better because I need them to, even after they thaw, I need them to hold their shape. Um, so I'm gonna go, when I, if I get a chance tonight, I am going to go online and see if I find maybe another filling recipe to try. This was just the first one that I tried and so far I'm not having any luck and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I follow the recipe to a T. Um, so I, I don't know, but my friend Amber is really good at this too, so I might have her come down one day and help me try to figure this out. I also wish the pies were a little bit bigger, but I'm also trying to figure out how much each pie is actually costing me. So I'm trying to do food costs as well, but I think I really want to nail down a recipe before I worry about food costs, like what to actually price the pies at. So um, that's kind of just like my little side thing. It's like, uh, I don't know but you guys but it stresses me out <laughs> like I wish I just had the recipe like all set and ready to go and I could just make them like I'm trying to figure out you know what's the best recipe how much is it gonna cost me how much do I you know all basically from scratch so I'm a little I was getting a little frustrated when the um filling was too runny yet again that was fun now I'm gonna go pick up Miss Ella and hopefully we can go get this costume return today and then uh we're gonna go home and like fill up her bureau and stuff so good talk I'm hungry I should grab food before I left but I didn't so we actually just got back from Hobby Lobby um we went and picked up some doorknobs for the new bureau so we picked up these ones that I'm currently putting on. Hi, I draw right now. Mm -hmm. Coloring I pictures. Use, well, I I draw. I look at. Look. See, I never. Oh, tip it a little more because I don't want them to see it. I was coloring that one. Oh, it's okay. It will just make. It. And when you make a. Here, I'm gonna put the um camera down right here so I can keep working because uh 
Yeah, it is so getting quite late, babe. But um, real quick, you can talk in a second, but these oh. are the knobs that we got from Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, I went to Ulta Yay. as well. I went there just to pick up another one of my um, two-hour self-tanners. But I did end up picking up Jeffrey and Morphe's setting spray because I've been dying to try uh, this out. It has a Strawberries are my favorite. And then I picked up a new Morphe palette. This is the 39S, you and which see? Brooke L um, models, and it's beautiful. I want to film a tutorial or something yeah. on it tomorrow. Oh. Be careful. But it's like a lot of pinks, a lot of purples. Can we touch Not it? that they, not yet. <laughs> so super hoody palette. I haven't bought makeup in quite a while. Um, so I figured I would treat myself a little bit, but you want to see the color this, this project is taking absolutely forever. That looks really like dark, so but it's a little light. Is he? Speech knob has Yeah, like, it's a little white. Yeah, it's a little darker. Oh, I'm going to keep it over here. TJ is breaking down the one that is currently in Ella's room, so I figured. Why? Because that one is trash. The drawers are falling apart, it's old, it's dirty, so that's why Mama bought you a new one. What about, what about for Hunter? What? Hunter will get a new one too, but not for a while. His room is not done. Yet. Yeah. Okay, two drawers down, four to go. But Daddy didn't even do it yet. Do what? The bedroom for Hunter? No, I know, because we're still working on the bathroom. We're going to finish the bathroom first, because that room has all the plumbing. And the what? The window and stuff. And when I do with the skin color, I'm going to color the bow and the hair. Sure. The same color. So What's the bed. tomorrow, Thursday? Yep. I have an OBGYN appointment. I have a baby appointment tomorrow. To get the baby out? No. <laughs> They're just gonna see how much I weigh, see how the baby's doing, all that fun stuff. That looks like the same color as this. It's a little, it's a little white. It's the same color as the cap as, as the strawberry. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm curious a little how it smells. Can I, can I smell? Ooh. Can I smell? Squirt it. Oh, it does smell nice. Can you kind of smell it? You can't. It's very light. I mean, I only did one quick spray because I didn't want to waste any products, but it does oh, have yeah. a good smell. It smells like a bubble gum. <laughs> like bubble gum. Mm -hmm. But I'm super excited to try that tomorrow. Good morning. I actually just got finished filming a tutorial for you guys because I showed you the makeup that I got last night. Um, so I tried the 39 Morphe S palette, really loved it, honestly. It didn't have much kickback. I thought the pigmentation was really pretty. I only got to play with like maybe three or four colors, so there are a ton of more colors that I gotta try. Um, but I gotta get my booty to work. I just, uh, I have my little setup look is on a chair and like, I don't know, it's such a bizarre setup, but I gotta go to work. I do have a baby doctor appointment today though. Oh my, camera's still recording. Um, I have a baby doctor appointment today, <sighs> later today, but I'm hoping that when I come home tonight, I'm going to have an opportunity to get some videos edited because I feel like I'm falling a little bit behind again, which I don't like that feeling. So I'm going to go. What time is it? Oh yeah, I'm going to go. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. Look at my mess. Oh gosh. This lighting though. Yes. <laughs> I just had my, um, spot to get out of. I'll hold that thought. <laughs> I, I just had my doctor's appointment and it was fine. Um, they took my weight. They took my blood pressure like they do every time. Side note, somebody literally crashed into the hospital. <laughs> like, I don't mean to laugh because I seriously hope that someone didn't get hurt, but it's like, how do you just crash into a building unless you like have a stroke or something? I mean, at least they're at the hospital already, right? Um, but th now there's like a helicopter whirring and everything because I saw the crash before my appointment and my appointment was about an hour long and now there's a helicopter. What? 
again I just had my baby appointment so everything was fine the baby was fine um, I got a flu shot though so Ella will be super excited that we have matching band-aids <laughs> I, I wasn't excited though I was like she's like oh she's like do you want to get your flu shot she said you're gonna be um, giving birth in the middle of winter you have a five-year-old daughter and I'm like <laughs> I just gave her this look like she knew what I wanted to say and she's like <laughs> I'm like no <laughs> so I ended up getting it just to be on the safe side I haven't had a flu shot in years you guys I mean years so I wasn't too happy about that but I don't want to go to my next appointment. <laughs> I don't want to go to my next appointment because I have to take a glucose test and it's a timed test. <laughs> I'm so scared. I hate it so much. But basically they gave me this drink and I have to drink the drink, like the entire thing, <laughs> in five minutes. And then I have to get blood drawn exactly an hour after I take it. So I'm supposed to finish it by 9.05. I have to get my blood taken at 10.05. And then it's not even over because of my negative blood type. I'm getting my first shot as well. Not my first shot, obviously. I just got the flu shot, but my first, like, I think it's called Rogam shot or something. It just, it protects the babies against my negative antibodies, basically, because they're just, my antibodies are sour pusses. <laughs> so, um, I have negative antibodies that could attack uh, my baby if they have positive antibodies. So that, that, um, shot prevents that. Super scientific, but just in, in, a, in a simple, in a simple word. So and that happens to be on Halloween. I'm going to have that done. So I told TJ, I'm like, you're flipping coming with me to my Halloween appointment because <laughs> I, I just need him there for moral support. That's it. But my doctor was super nice. Um, again, I have, I have six potential delivery doctors. Um, I've met, I think, five out of six today. I just met the fifth one. She, everybody's been super nice, to be honest with you. Um, but she was talking about my makeup, and she's like, oh, what do you do for a living? And I just told her, you know, I work at a restaurant. Let me go over here. I said, I work at a restaurant. And she's like, oh, I thought, like, maybe you did makeup and stuff, like professional makeup. So I mentioned, you know, I do YouTube videos, and I just filmed a tutorial this morning, but uh, she was super nice. I said, this is like, I don't get this done up every day, definitely not. I said, you know, I usually either don't wear makeup or it's more on the natural side. So we had a, I don't know, I try to, I try to joke with people, especially when I'm really nervous. I just try to laugh a lot because it's the only thing that gets my mind off of the syringe coming at my, <laughs> at my shoulders. So there's that, but the baby's healthy, which is always good news. I wouldn't do all this if it wasn't for the health of my child, to be honest with you. Uh, but my, my babies mean everything to me. So I will gladly get shot, not gladly, but I will get shots willingly, <laughs> um, to make sure that they're safe and, uh, we have a healthy pregnancy. So uh, there's that. I got about an hour before I gotta go pick up my Bubblicious. <laughs> my arm is starting to hurt. <laughs> Ow. She, <laughs> my arm is so bad. It's super sore. Um, <laughs> she asked me which my dominant hand was and I said my right hand so she put it in my left arm and now I see why. <laughs> because my, my arm is hurting, owie. <laughs> I'm just laughing because it hurts. Oh my god. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Good job, Bubby! <laughs> Today we're going to, um... Harvest! Yes, we're going to Harvest Fest at her school. And I'm making it. 
Don't get that marker on my window. <laughs> We're at her school, so I don't know how much I'm gonna like record you guys know the privacy thing. I try to stick by with her school, but we are going to that today, which we should be super fun. But we got here early. <laughs> we got here early so that we could get like a really good parking spot and we wouldn't have to take a shuttle or anything. So we have some time to kill. So we've been practicing our numbers, which Ella, oh my goodness, you know your number is one through 12. And then these are all the ones that she was doing all by herself. Herself. She was doing numbers and letters. Which letters were you doing? E. Uh huh. Zero. Yeah, that is easy. Or Zero. an O. Oh. It can be an O too. Well, it can be a letter or a number. <laughs> what else? M. Yeah. E. L. L. A. <laughs> yeah. Those are my name. Yeah. N. Two. U. 11. No, no, no. What's that number? 10. It has a hat and then it goes down. Can you tell me? Yeah, you remember. No, remember I know. That says a 7. 7. Can you write your name again? Maybe like right here or something? Sure. Alright, watch it so your friends can see. Ready? Spell out the letters as you write them. What's that? E. Yeah. <laughs> that is close, but malicious. <laughs> try again here. Try I'll it. I'll do like it longer. Okay. Try to find a good spot. Whoa, my goodness. That's a big one. Okay. E. L. L. A. <laughs> nice job. My Bubblicious is so smart. She's learning so much in school. I'm so proud of you. We just went to go have lunch at Not Your Average Joe's. And we didn't have lunch there maybe like a month ago at this point. We had a really good experience. This time I didn't really like what I got. I got like the steak and cheese egg rolls as an, like a, it was an appetizer, but we got it as an entree. And no way, and, uh, we had an oil. Really we had oil oh my and gosh. cheese and garlic. I and wish. It was so <laughs> Spicy. So we got oil and cheese instead. I wish I got this girl's reaction on camera. It was the funniest thing in the world. But they give you like instead of like bread and butter, they give you bread and oil. But inside the oil, they have like some spices. There's obviously oil. <laughs> there's cheese, and then there's like garlic. So I kept telling her because she kept like loading up a piece of bread with this stuff, and I'm like, Bob, like. You know, you gotta relax on that, and she didn't listen and took a big bite. <laughs> I had, I was dying. I, I went like this because it was she, so spicy. She like took her napkin and was like rubbing off her tongue, and I told her to have some of her drink, but I was dying. <laughs> I told you, that's what you get for not listening to mama. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe next time you'll listen to me when I say, don't eat it. <laughs> but I'm I'm glad I get to spend the day with my bubblicious today. I was supposed to be in New York yesterday um, for my aunt's. I don't know. I feel like I mentioned this very very quickly, but my aunt from New York, my aunt from New York had unexpectedly passed away at the beginning of September, maybe September fifth, and they had a. Um, a little like private service like her kids were there and her siblings were there and I didn't get to make that or like they told us not to come because they were gonna have a cremation service and that the cremation service was yesterday but because they were leaving for New York so early in the morning and then not coming oh, home at that's night like a kitty. oh cute I would have needed a babysitter literally all weekend and I'm like what the I, heck? what I, I didn't want to do that, you know? That's a kitty? Yeah. <laughs> you know which letters are in her name? Her Ooh. name is Rosie. Ooh, that's a hard name. Do you know how to do an R? What's the... F What's that face for? <laughs> she has this letter in her name. Rosie starts with R. R Rosie. That's an R. Um, in, in, in very simple terms, it, babysitter didn't work out. So unfortunately I missed the creation service R. too. Oh my goodness. You made an R. Good job. Okay. Rosie. Oh, oh, oh. What makes that noise? Ro. 
Oh. Oh. Yeah. Put it next to the R. I didn't have enough. Right mm. there. Row. Okay. S -s 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 -s. E. Like a snake. S -s -s -s. What what letter is that? No, no, don't get distracted. Like a snake. What letter is that? S. S. Can you make an S next to the R? Yeah. Good job. Now, Rose E. E. There is an E, but there is also an I. <gasps> mm-hmm. So can you make an e. I next to the S? I comes first. I can't how to draw. The eye is the easiest one. Here, draw an eye. It's kind of like an L, but it has a little dot on top. So draw an L. Okay. Yeah, and then put like a little dot. Perfect, that's an I. And then an E. Can you make a lowercase E? Yeah, sure. perfect. Right here. We'll finish up Rosie. E. E. Good job! See, this is R-O-S-I-E, Rosie. If anyone's name is Rosie, let me know. <laughs> if your name is Rosie, write all your letters in Rosie's name. Mm -hmm. okay, I got your name, Rosie. Pretty name. All right, we're going to kill a little bit more time. Go have some fun. And this is T. T. How, how high can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty. <laughs> you started. You're almost there. You skipped a couple numbers, but you got close one, to twenty. Two, oh, let me make a one right here. No, no, I'm gonna go R. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to R. All right, give me that marker. I also pre-bought some um, raffle tickets because I know tickets are needed for like games and stuff. So we gotta gotta hold on to those. So we can always buy more if we need them. But I, I think there's like twenty think, twenty-five in here. So and what? I think they have a toy store. You can buy toys. Well, for the last time, we're not buying toys today. No toys.